Line integration isn't a new topic. Production lines have been built and commissioned for years. But there have always been great challenges among machine manufacturers when it came to exchanging data between machines or a superimposed system. From protocols and technologies to communication between machines to the construction of the actual data interfaces themselves. The big issue is knowing which data is available and which parameters can be influenced externally. I'll be showing you in a concise way how, in no more than four steps, you can utilize new technologies for this in order to reduce engineering time and, even more importantly, to get to the commissioning stage faster. This enables you to minimize risk at the same time as you are able to rely again and again on interfaces and technologies which have already been validated. The first two steps involve the topic of data interfaces. When standardized data interfaces are used, complex coordination with system owners or other machine manufacturers is no longer necessary. In step two, we'll take this standardized interface and make it accessible externally using a standardized protocol, namely OPCUA, with the help of companion specifications. Once the data interface is standardized and implemented, I'll show you how the behavior of a machine can be standardized using standardized status models in the next step. Last but not least, and this step is especially interesting to system owners, you can control and synchronize all machines on the line centrally with a line control unit. The integration of standardized data interfaces is the foundation for simplified integration of machines into a line. These standardized data interfaces are created and maintained by industry associations such as the OMAC Foundation. Industry associations like this make specifications available which define how a data interface must be constructed, such as for the very well-known OMAC PACML standard. A TIA portal library containing all the function and data modules required for integrating this interface into a SIMATIC S7-1500 is available to you free of charge. Once implemented, you can reuse this standardized data interface at any time and don't have to implement a completely new interface for the next customer thanks to the library concept in the TIA portal. The foundation has been laid. Now we want to make this standardized data interface available to others. To do this, we'll use the integrated OPC UA server of the Sematic S7-1500 and the Siemens OPC UA Modeling Editor. With the OPC UA Modeling Editor, or COME for short, we can link the existing data from the S7-1500 to the OPC UA companion specification in just a few steps. The companion specification itself is a quasi-digital map based on OPC UA, which often uses long-established industry standards like OMAC PAC ML, for example. Once we've opened the tool, we can import the companion specification as the foundation, which we've already downloaded from the website of the OMAC Foundation. This specification contains all the data types and structures required by the specification and makes life considerably easier for us as a result. Once the data interface has been modeled, the structure still needs to be linked to the data from the S7-1500. Xiaomi provides direct access to TIA portal data for this. After browsing through the data, it can easily be linked to the structure of the companion specification by dragging and dropping it. When the interface is fully modeled, an XML file, which is then integrated into the S7-1500 as the OPC UA server interface, is exported. Once the program has been downloaded into the controller, the interface is available for access. This is how easy the integration of an OPC UA companion specification can be. By the way, the Siemens OPC UA modeling editor is available to you free of charge from Siemens Industry Online Support. Once we have standardized the data interfaces and made them available using a communication protocol, which is also standardized, we then have to make sure that all the machines in a line also behave in a standardized way. Here, behave refers to the modes a machine has and the statuses it can assume. But the most important issue is how a machine switches from status A to status B. These standardized status models are also created and maintained by industry associations such as the OMAC Foundation. Known to many as the OMAC state model, this diagram describes the standardized behavior process of a machine. 
The integration of this status model occurs in the same way as in the first step. Based on the standardized functions of the Sematic S7-1500 and the TIA portal library concept. We also provide you with a library for status models which can be used free of charge for integration into your application. No further work needs to be carried out on the individual machine. The final step involves centrally controlling and synchronizing all machines on the line. For this, we'll use the practical concept of a line control unit, or LCU for short. A separate Sematic S7-1500 becomes a full-featured line controller with this application. The LCU knows the OMAC status model and can operate all machines which work according to this status model. Four different strategies for controlling the line are available to the LCU here, depending on the application. Line speed set point, line supervision, buffer control, and bottleneck machine. The line control unit concept is also available for you to download from Siemens Industry Online Support. Using standardized data interfaces and status models, you can rely on a validated foundation. This not only increases the quality of your solution, but also minimizes risk considerably. Once implemented, these standards can simply be reused for the next customer, depending on the industry. This saves valuable time during engineering and on-site commissioning. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.